Hey there everyone, as you can tell I'm probably not inside, I've been banned from the shed due to not wearing safety glasses, I have ruined my eye. You can see it in this light. Mm. No, nah, not really. Um, but yeah, so I've been inside all day. And after much fiddling, I've worked out how to fix these old phones that I also collect. I've got a couple here. This one's for Alex, and this is the one I'm doing the video on. Um, but there's an old black one up there. That works. I brought that working. Um, those two down there, and there's a few more in my room, and a few more around the place. Because um, what happens, they are a four-wire... Four wire, wired for a four wire system so what happens and if you hear it put the microphone you can hear it dial tone but when I go to ring it they, the bells won't ring out um, I first one I got thought the bells were stuffed in that's why I got it so cheap but turns out that the bells are actually fine and that that receives a phone call fine it just won't ring so after a few hours of <coughs> fiddling in the day off work because of due to my eye, I've worked out how to rewire them. So I'll pull it apart and put this camera in charge while I'm doing that. Right, are we back? I drew out a little diagram. Um, and judging by the ones I've done, sometimes a bell coil one side isn't on JS5, which is down in there. Hence why I've got my reading glasses on because I can't really see those numbers otherwise. Um, but yeah, to rewire old phones, link black and blue, which means you pull the black off GS5 and put it onto the blue, where the blue is, on B, down here. And then you move red out of the phone line here, where black and blue come from, and your main phone line to GS4, where the black just came from. And then you move your bell coil, which is this here. One side will either be on GS5 or GS1. But move one to GS5 if it's not there already. Uh, one side of the coil. And the other side of the coil, move it to A, which is on the opposite side. So you have to make sure it's tucked down below the hang-up cradle here. Um, righto, so that's that done. The dialer, this one sounds pretty good. They can get full of dust and they mightn't work either. But as I said, that one sounds like it's working. Yep, that's working. Very dusty because it came out of the workshop, uh, Roscoe's workshop, and been sitting in my shed as well. But yeah, so that's why Alex is getting this one because I felt sorry for it. I reckon it'll work. So we'll see if it wants to ring for us now. Oh. That down there. Hold my phone out. <coughs> ah, bells aren't working. I've done something wrong. Oh, that's why it's not plugged in. We'll try again. Now it's fan. Can they go flat? So. Camera's about to go flat, so I'll put it back on the charger and I'll plug it in. Righto, we'll uh, try that again. I'll make sure that that's on its cradle, so that's down. So that's normally through the case, and we'll give it a call again. No. No, oh, I actually got the phone, it's got the dead bell coil. It was one, and this might be it. See that she wants to. Yeah, it's working. Hmm. Nonetheless, I'll keep trying. Righto, got the tea on the table, but ignore that. Um, this is the green phone I had sitting on the bench. Um, this one's pretty much brand new condition. I got lucky with this one. I've made it actually out of three bits of other phones. The case, the, the hand receiver's off another one, the case is off another one, and the dial's out of another one again. So it was a bit of a bit start to make up a nice green phone. This one's a bit more special because it's, no, the ca that there was off another one, that was off another one, and the case is off another one. Because this one here's actually got a key, 
and it goes in the lock on the front. And what you do with this one is to lock STD or only make calls in or out. So it's got to be have the key in to make calls out, um, which is really good for here because my little brother had a habit of using the phone. So all we have to do is take that out and put it away. There is another phone in the lounge room, a black one of these with the key in it, and that's with that's my phone and this oh this one's my phone and the one in the lounge room is mum's phone. So little brother doesn't get to use the phone line. That way we do have the cordless ones, but they don't work. So <clears throat> anyway, the one I missed, I had to pull off and check because I didn't write it down. The wire I missed was to move this little link cable between CGS4 to there. So I've added it to the list. I might add this list to the description underneath the video in case he wants to help someone try and fix one of these phones. So it's move grey. Grey to link C1 to GS4. Um, I haven't quite done that yet in here. I don't have pliers on me, so let's see how we go. That's, that's originally on GS5 to P3, but we'll remove that. Mm, let's see how we go. Mm, that's off there. And get this end off too. There we are. Be hard doing this one eyed. Put the patch back on my eye. Yes, safety first, as always said, and that's why I'm in safety groups at work, because I have a nasty habit of not wearing safety glasses. It's finally come back to get me. So I'll be called pirate now, probably to the rest of the rest of the time at my work. It's a patch, and I'm sure someone will have the fun delight of colouring in namely my girlfriend. Here we are. It's back on there, we'll try it again, eh? Put that back on there to hold it down. We'll plug it in this time so it don't make me look like a complete fool. Obviously I live in a more modern house so I don't have the 610 fitting or more the original standard fitting. This one is one handed. As you can see it's meant for four wires hence or we can use up to six wires in these. But I had to get the adapter to suit the new, new RJ45s. That's in there. Right, where's my phone gone? Over here. We'll try and see if it rings now. Ugh. It's not sitting down. There, we'll put this down, hold that down, pull back. Oh! I've done something it doesn't like. Um, unless I've plugged the wrong phone in. No, I've plugged the wrong bloody phone in. I've got to set this up at the shed. I haven't got a phone line out of the shed yet. I've got the cable in, but not there yet. But I'm banned from the shed today, according to the doctor. I'm not going to go back to work tomorrow, but I will. Oh, come on. Sorry about these people. Right, now it's that right phone. Right, it's hung up. Let's try again. Yay, we have success. So there you are, that's how you rewire a phone. 
Get a sore eye and eat your dinner on a Monday night. Um, I'll quickly show you something. This is, I think, yeah, these are what they call 802 model phones. Oh, I'll put that back down in case someone calls. 802 model phones. Um, come various types, like these ones have got, this one's a plain one. And these different colours. Yeah, this one's a plain one, doesn't have a key on it. This one's a green one, has a key on it. That one down there with the numbers on the outside is a 601. And they're older, they're from the 60s to the 70s. These are from the 70s to the 80s. That's another black one for key on it. That one doesn't ring. I think that one has a dead bell in it for memory. And this one up here is a... 400 series. It's the older Bakelite model from the 50s, um, 40s to 50s. Um, this one's already been refurbished. Just needs a clean. I haven't done that one. That's the one that sort of helped me do these ones. But converting it from that phone to these phones is quite difficult because they are very different inside. I'm not pulling this phone apart again because it's. I don't want to crack the Bakelite casing. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I hope that helps someone, and I'll put the note where I've put it in the description. So, that's how you resurrect one of these old bell ring phones. Um, yeah, so don't chuck in the bin if they don't work, because they might necessarily, they do need a fair bit of rewiring, as you can tell. Um, yeah, well there, I'll show you the internals of this one before we go. It's quite simple, that's your input. That's your relay to 